Hey all, ADH here. Now if you're struggling to find all of the stars in Snowman's Land, my guide will show you how and exactly where to find them. Now you must have beaten Bowser to get the key to get to this part of the castle. Once you have done, head towards this door. Now if you want to jump to a star in particular, use the timestamps down below. Now for style 1 we're going to scale to the top of the snowman on the left but we need to go around the outside to be able to do that. Now we do have new enemies, we've got some snowmen and some of these headhunters. Now we're going to be making use of a headhunter in a different star but follow this path down and we need to do a triple jump to get to the platform up the top. Backflip will work as well. Just watch out for the waves because they can get quite big and knock you into the water. Now we're going to come up to a bridge here. There's a penguin walking back and forth. Now if we activate this text box, the penguin's going to come back. Now the idea is to stay just to the side of the penguin as it moves across the bridge. It does move a little bit quicker at times and goes backwards. Now if you aren't by the penguin, the snowman in the background is going to blow you off. Once you've done that, jump onto the head of the snowman, collect the star. Here we go. Now if you do have difficulty doing that, you can backflip on top of the penguin's head and just ride across. I think it's a much easier way of getting across the bridge this way. Just make sure you jump off at the end. Star number two, we need to defeat another bully. Now you probably already defeated a bully back in Lethal Lava Land. This one is pretty much the same. It might be a bit more aggressive. Just make sure you can kick it off the platform. That's the way I do it anyway. Now you want to be careful here. Don't get knocked off into the water down below because that will take off health. <laughs> Star number three is probably the quickest star to collect in the game. So we're going to head on over to this ice structure. There's a gap on the side you can jump in. Now we're going to do a precise jump. So we'll backflip up on top of the roof. Just jump up here and drop down to the star. Here we go! For star four, we're going to head around the side like we did in star one but we're going to take a slightly different route here. So once we've got round the corner, we've got a bunch of headhunters. The one we want to jump on is the one just in the water. So as long as you jump onto his head, you'll get that lift. Then head on over to this item box and grab the star. Star number five, we need to find the eight red coins. So go round the back here and collect the first one. We've got a couple of red coins to the left. Don't worry about those. They're on top of the frozen lake. We need to find a green shell first. So we'll grab coin number two. And then we need to follow the route of the previous star. So if you jump on top of the closest headhunter, that'll get you that lift up into this area again. Go over to the item box and this time there'll be a green shell. And this is how we're going to collect the rest of the red coins here. So four of them are up the top. Now watch out, there is a snowman that does randomly appear. Drop down here and grab the other two red coins from the frozen lake. Now the star appears where you started the level. So just head on round the side and collect it.
Now for star six, you must have activated the blue switch to be able to do this. If you haven't, make sure you go and do that first. Now there's two different ways we can get into the igloo here. I'll show you both of them. The first route will be very similar to previous stars. So jump onto the closest headhunter. That will get you up into this area. Now go and get yourself a green shell. Now it's fine, you can use this on top of the water here. There's a slope in the distance with some coins. You need to get up to the top. Now if you don't have enough momentum, go back down, try again, get a bit more speed. Once you get to the igloo, just crawl through it. Now the start is right at the beginning of this section up top here, but there's a wall that you can't pass through. Now we need to go and get the transparency cap. So if you follow this path around, you'll see the block over there. Now you can jump over this wall by using a triple jump or a backflip, which is what I'm gonna do. Go and get your cap, and then just run back to where the star was. But now you can just jump through the wall. Now if you were having difficulties getting up that hill with the shell, go back onto the bridge, do the walk with the penguin, and then at this point just fall off the bridge and you'll land on top of the igloo. Now for the 100 coin start, we've got about 126 coins, so there's plenty around. Head on over and grab a couple of coins here. Now there's an invisible frog. If you wait by it for a second, it will come back. And you'll get five coins from them. Now for the headhunters, ground pound them. Don't jump on them because that will send you flying into the air. Now once you've got these three headhunters, head back over this direction. Now we've still got more headhunters around here, so I'm going to ground pound this one. There is also a shy guy. If you feel comfortable about getting the coins from him, wait for him to duck down and then jump on him. You'll get a couple of coins. Now if we go around the corner, there'll be a red coin we can collect. So like you should know by now, all of the red coins will give you the equivalent of two coins. So if you come across any of them, it's well worth getting them. There's another frog here if you wait for it to reappear. Now we don't want to collect all of the coins from the headhunters in the water because we need to jump up onto the side. So you're probably going to lose a few coins in the process, but go and get yourself a green shell. And we can make up for that by getting some of the red coins. Again, head down to the frozen lake, grab the two there. Now whilst I've still got the green shell, I'm going to head back to where the igloo was. Collect the coins on the way up here. Now I've got 65 coins here, that will just about get me the star. So we'll go back through. Now like the previous start, you must have activated the blue switch to be able to do this. Now there are several headhunters and goombas in the cavern, so make sure you do go and stomp on them to get all of the coins.
And again, like the previous start, we need to go and get the transparency cap. Now we've got a whole heap of coins that are buried inside of the ice wall here. So make sure you do collect all of them. <laughs> Now, if you do find you're missing a few coins at this point, head back outside. There were a couple of headhunters I missed. The snowmen can be defeated too. And also, if you are heading up to the snowman, you'll find a few on the path too. <laughs> Well, I hope this guide helped you out. If you want to check out any of my other walkthroughs, the link should be on the screen right now. If you liked the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Thanks for watching.